Macintosh has just unveiled the newest addition to the ultra high-end home audio market with their newest XCS 1.5K center channel speaker, which has 43 drivers, handles up to 1500 watts, and costs a whopping $40,000. With that many drivers, you almost get one for each hair follicle inside your ear. Typically, you would spend 40 grand on a sports car during the midlife crisis, so it takes a special kind of crazy to fork over that much on the center channel speaker. This just in, concept art has been leaked online for the upcoming sequel to Wally. Warning, may cause an influx of spiders into your home coming to worship their deity. Oh, okay. All jokes aside, let's hop online and see just how badass this speaker is. Hooray. 1500 watt power rating, ported three and four way hybrid design, tri-amp and tri-wire. Hold on, oh my goodness. Yeah, you can literally tri-amp this speaker, meaning you can literally have three separate amplifiers powering the highs and the mids, the bass and the sub bass. <coughs> It does have such a very unique design with the mid-range woofers and the tweeters in front of the bass woofers. Wow. You can obviously tilt it to your heart's content. Tweeters, mid-range woofers and tweeters. Jeez. There's all your varying degrees of tilt that you can have all the way up to 30 degrees. The XCS 1.5K center channel loudspeaker is an important piece of the puzzle to create a cinematic, immersive experience in a home theater system that uses our XRT 2.1K or XRT 1.1K floor standing loudspeakers as the front left and front right speakers. It's also important that your center channel speaker works in perfect harmony with the front left and front right speakers so that sounds can seamlessly move from side to side across all three front speakers without any unwanted changes to the sound characteristics. For this reason, the XCS 1.5K has been voiced to match both the XRT 2.1K and XRT 1.1K. Okay, so let's check out the XRT 2.1K floor standing loudspeaker. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Pretty much the same design, very linear. These can handle 2000 watts. Also triamp and tri-wire. Line array design with 81 drivers. Yeah, and as you can see here, it doesn't actually give you a price. It just says, find a dealer. <laughs> That's a good indicator of when a product is ridiculously expensive is when they don't actually show you the price. They just say, find a dealer here because it only caters to a very small niche of people who are willing to spend that much on speakers. Let's go back and check out the 1.1K. All right, a little bit smaller, can handle up to 1200 watts. Also triamp, line array design with 70 drivers. And if we jump over to this article from eacoustics.com, we can see that the 2.1K loudspeakers are $130,000 a pair, and the 1.1 are only $60,000 a pair. Only. Okay. Back to the center channel. The XCS 1.5K features a line array design similar to the XRT 2.1 and XRT 1.1, where the mid ranges and tweeters are installed in an array mounted forward of the woofers. It can handle 1500 watts of power and is a unique hybrid design of both three and four way speaker. For low frequencies, it has four eight inch long throw carbon fiber sandwich cone woofers. Sandwich comb. Good luck trying to order that next time you're at Panera. Although I am now suddenly hungry. The mid ranges are located in the line array along with 25 three quarter inch dome tweeters. The careful selection of the speaker drivers based on their performance attributes, the placement of the individual drivers, and the detailed crossover design result in a uniform and wide sound feel. This means that even if you are not sitting directly centered on the speaker, you will still be able to clearly hear every sound coming from the center channel. I can get behind that. Three sets of our solid cinch speaker binding posts are located on the back of the XCS 1.5K. Like the XRT 2.1K and XRT 1.1K, the XCS 1.K... <laughs> this is really hard to <laughs> say all these letters in a row. 
The XCS 1.5K base cabinet is finished with seven layers of high gloss piano black paint and has touches of brushed and black aluminum. I do enjoy me a seven layer salad from time to time. It is about lunchtime right now where I am, so. I'm getting hungry. The line array features hints of the classic Macintosh front panel with a black center section and silver trim. It is suspended in front of the base cabinet via steel spiders. Hey, spiders. See, there's a reason I made that joke. Success. That are inspired by modern skyscraper construction. Specs. This is surprising. Eight ohm nominal. You would think with something that can handle up to 1500 watts would be four ohm nominal. I mean, not that it's gonna sound like a bunch of crap just because it's eight ohm nominal. It was just surprising. Frequency response of 32 Hertz to 20 kilohertz, 32 Hertz. There's plenty of cheap subwoofers out there that don't even go down to 32 Hertz. So that's pretty dang cool. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Dimensions, 49 and 31 30 seconds of an inch. 49 inches wide is like a really big sound bar. So this sucker is big. 17 and 3 16 inches high and 21 and 7 30 seconds inches deep. But here's the kicker, 178 pounds. What? I just wanna take a quick look at this right here. XCS 1.5K is also part of the reference home theater system. So, you know, everything is obviously Macintosh. We've got the center channel here, floor standing loudspeakers here, a bunch of amps and processors, etc. But look at this. They also have the floor standing loudspeakers as the surrounds, most likely the surround backs as well. And I'm only gonna guess because it's a promo photo that these are the more expensive $130,000 repair speakers. And of course the theater seating has cup holders. Yay. Okay, that's enough of that. I just wanted to quickly go over that just because it came across my Instagram feed and I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> so thanks for joining me as I went online and discovered all these features and specs with you. I know for most of you, like me, spending $40,000 on a center channel speaker is way out of my price range. So this was just for fun, just to see what exactly it all entails. I guess if I won the lottery, sure, then I would probably get a complete Macintosh home theater system. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, Always be listening.